chalk up another scandal. Another outrageously outrageous outrage, piling on to the crash and burn Obamacare train wreck. Welcome to Liberty News TV, I'm Norval Rose. Healthcare.gov, the online centerpiece of the Obamacare Insurance Exchange, the federal marketplace for those affordable health insurance policies. Not only is Healthcare.gov a functional disaster, it's also a financial disaster. Reports now emerging that the government's web portal to help Americans buy health insurance, it's cost us so far almost seven times the original estimate. The site that was supposedly going to run us a whopping $93 million has now run up an unbelievable price tag of some $634 million. $634 million of your tax dollars at work. Said to be the most expensive site in the history of the World Wide Web. And the site with that two-thirds of a billion dollar price tag still isn't working properly, so supposedly the cost continues to climb. What a shining example of government efficiency and cost control, a cost overrun that is truly astronomical. And this is the government that so many Obamacare advocates and apologists want to run our entire health care system. This is the kind of service, the kind of cost control, the kind of accountability to the taxpayer that we can count on, eh? Naturally, one might expect this sort of telling fiscal fiasco to be front and center on every major grown-up news site in the country, right? Well, you can find the staggering story on Fox News and on most alternative news sites as well as conservative blogs. But when you check out NBC, ABC, CBS, CNN, The New York Times, The Washington Post, when you look at those reputable organizations, you guessed it. You find no prominent mention, and in most cases, no mention at all. Not a word about the unimaginable cost overruns for healthcare.gov. Can you say providing cover for the king, running interference for the dear leader, ignoring the smoldering wreckage wrought by Casey Jones Obama at the wheel of this IT train wreck of train wrecks? $634 million and presumably counting, close to seven times the originally estimated cost of the Obamacare online exchange marketplace. And contrary to Team Obama's explanation that their website woes are the result of high traffic volume, overwhelming demand for those affordable insurance policies, lots of computer experts and software analysts say it's a matter of poor design, outdated programming, badly written code. $634 million for a busted website on which much of the future of Obamacare depends. Well, at least Team Obama can point to all those American jobs that have been created and sustained by this awesomely expensive endeavor, all that money flowing back into the American economy. Except that the firm that developed and is trying to fix healthcare.gov is a Canadian company headquartered in Montreal. The U.S. government awarded this U.S. project to a Canadian company. Go figure. Or maybe we should say, allez savoir, or something. That is Liberty News TV for today. I'm Norval Rose. Thanks as always for joining us, and we hope to see you right back here next time.